See you in all generals. Welcomes. You. Enjoy the animal world. A sighting of an old buffalo bull that had been kicked out from the herd. This is nature at its best. It shows how the animal kingdom can be a heartless and vicious world. Buffaloes are a very dangerous species, but it is best to stay away from the older, lone bull, as a herd of buffaloes is much less dangerous to confront than an irate buffalo bull. This bull was kicked out from its herd by younger bulls when it passed its prime. This docker boy as old buffaloes are referred to because of their affinity for mud, typically spend its last day soaking in mud. While trying to purge its body of parasites, docker is a Nguni word for mud. This bull is on the defensive, and for good reason. Its herd is no longer there to protect it. Did you know? Cape buffaloes love water, but they must not be confused with water buffaloes. Sometimes on game drives or safaris, you would hear guests exclaim water buffalo. It need to be noted that, the only buffalo inhabiting Africa is the Cape African buffalo species. In the bushveld, red-billed oxbeckers live in harmony with buffalo, as they are thought to rid their host of parasites and survive on a diet of scar tissue, scabs, and dandruff. When it comes to the function of oxbeckers on buffalo, there are two opposing viewpoints. One is that they prevent an open wound from becoming infected, and the other is that they keep picking at the scab, which slows down the healing process. Thus, the red-billed oxbeckers might be semi-parasitic or symbiotic, even though this lonely bull found itself trapped in an awkward position, it is lucky enough that it is not on the wild but a game reserve, as the lions would have sensed an opportunity to prey on it. This docker boy would stay longer and only die of old age or physical conditions than an old buffalo in the wild that have been kicked out of the herd, which is prone to predators. Thanks for watching please, like, comment, Share and subscribe for more videos.